In this video, we'll be completing a freezing point depression calculation. May and Ken Water, get it, make and water, work for the city and need to spread salt on the front porch of the mayor's office. Mayor Melton Ice, get it, melting ice, they throw 960 grams of calcium chloride on the ice. The ice has a mass of 4.5 kilograms. What is the freezing point depression? What is the new freezing point? Well, let's take a look again at what's going on. We have some ice, and then we're going to throw some salt on the ice. Just like the city throws salt on ice in winter to melt the ice, this is the same type of problem. Here's a few givens that we'll have to work with. This is the freezing point depression for water, it's this value here. And then we know the freezing point, of course, is zero degrees Celsius. So they're asking us, what is the freezing point depression? Well, we have an equation for freezing point depression. It's this. The freezing point depression is equal to K times M. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know. We're looking for delta T. Uh, we don't have the molality, so the only thing we really have is K. So let's plug in K right now. So now, the only thing we need to get to find the freezing point depression will be M. So we need to find M. We have a formula for M. It's molality, and it equals the moles of particles divided by the kilograms of solvent. So let's plug in what we know. We know that we have 4.5 kilograms of solvent. That's the 4.5 kilograms of ice. The ice, um, that's what we'll be doing the dissolving. So that's the solvent. Now we don't know how many moles of particles we have. We know how many grams of calcium chloride we have. So we're going to have to convert grams of calcium chloride into moles of particles. Do you know how to do that? Sure, we'll use the molar mass from the periodic table. So let's convert grams to moles using the molar mass. Now, if we ended our calculation here, that would tell us how many moles of calcium chloride we have. But we're interested in how many moles of particles. So what we have to recognize is that calcium chloride when that dissolves in water, will break up into three particles, one calcium and two chlorides. So here's an important conversion we need to be aware of. One mole of calcium chloride will have three moles of ions. Let's make sure we understand that. If we dissolve one mole of calcium chloride in water, it will break apart into three things. So we'll have three moles of ions floating around. So 960 grams of calcium chloride will be equal to 25.9 moles of ions. Now that we know how many moles of particles we have, we can plug that in for N. So the molality of the solution will be 5.76 molar. Now that we know the molality, we can plug that in up here for M. Simply multiply these two numbers together and this tells us our freezing point depression. It's 10.7 degrees Celsius. And remember, it's freezing point depression, meaning the freezing point is going to go down. So this next question, what is the new freezing point? Well, the initial freezing point of water was, of course, zero degrees. So if the freezing point goes down by 10.7, that means the new freezing point or melting point is minus 10.7 degrees C.